Mirrors have long been called the portals to the spirit world, and there are numerous superstitions surrounding their use. Many cultures believe that mirrors or reflections in the water could show us our souls. This made mirrors dangerous in the realm of magic, where dark spells could be performed on mirrors that held the image of the intended victim. They could also be used for divination purposes, scrying, and as a way to communicate with the dead. We've all heard that breaking a mirror will give us seven years of bad luck. Did you know that if your mirror suddenly breaks of its own will, it means that you are about to lose your best friend? Of course, if the mirror falls off the wall, it means that someone in the house will soon die. To bring good fortune to the marriage, newlyweds should stand together in front of a mirror shortly after getting married. By doing this, they unite their souls in the spirit world. All mirrors must be covered in the house of someone who has just passed away. The reason for this is because the deceased person's soul can get trapped inside the mirror world and haunt the family. In some superstitions, the deceased will try and grab the souls of the living who look in the possessed mirror. If a mirror suddenly falls to the ground and does not break, good fortune will enter your life. Many people believe that it is bad luck to sleep in front of a mirror. Spirits from the spirit world may be able to suck your soul out through the mirror while you are asleep and unprotected. If you suddenly scare yourself with your own reflection in a mirror, you can expect a good amount of luck to come your way. If you are upset or highly anxious about something, you are supposed to gaze into a mirror. The spirit world will take your troubles away. On the other hand, you should avoid gazing too long into a mirror if you are sick because the spirits will find it easy to steal away your soul. On Halloween night, a young woman is supposed to seat herself in front of a mirror with a lit candle, an apple, and a knife. She must cut the apple into nine slices and eat eight of the slices, one at a time, with a knife. She must then pierce the ninth slice and throw it at the mirror. Her husband-to-be will appear inside the mirror to catch the final slice. A mirror belonging to someone who has just died must not be looked into. To see your own reflection in it, will bring about your own death as a dead person's soul takes you with him. The dead person's mirror is unsafe for use until the dead person is in the ground or cremated. In China, brass mirrors would hang above their idols. This way, any evil spirits who would enter their place of worship would see their reflection and be scared off. This is also the reason why many people will hang a mirror opposite their front door, to protect the home by reflecting back any evil or negative energies.